kind of a, a at least regional, but a world, in some ways, a worldly mixing place. And you can feel it when you're in the market, and you can move through, and you've got everything from, uh, which I don't think we've eaten yet, but we harvested, we, someone, one of the vendors was selling kukuk, you know, which is this Asian green perennial, but somehow it got here, you know. So there is that mixing that's going on. And one of the beauties to me about permaculture is that um, it encourages that mixing. It, it brings a consciousness to the mixing. There, there's a way to link different ideas up and simplify life in a lot of ways. Um, yeah, so after that trip to, to um, Africa where I realized, okay, I should probably go through a certification program, I said, okay, well, how should I do this? You know, and because I had been part of permaculture, there's this... Uh, the longest running uh, ga gathering of permaculturists is in, is in North Carolina at a place called Silo. And it's called the uh, Summer Permaculture Gathering. This is, it's been going on 16 years, 16 years now. And so I've, I had gone to that for six or eight years. So I'm like, how am I supposed to step into this? And um, I thought, okay, well, who's the best teacher that I know the most? you know, the deepest experience, and it was a guy named Peter Bain, and maybe something, he runs the Permaculture Activist, which is the main magazine of the United States on permaculture, and as he was in the second wave of people learning from Bill Mollison, so, uh, and 